Welcome back, Lemon Army fam. We are back with some Pokemon Go action. And this is the video that you guys all have been waiting for, all right? So let me go ahead and tell you guys exactly how you guys can spoof to any location and catch those rare and shiny Pokemon, all right? I know a lot of people have been getting rubber band back to their original state and everything like that. So first of all, what you need to do... What you need to do is you need to go to your Play Store. You need to search for fake GPS, all right? You need to locate fake GPS. You, you got the free one right here, you guys. You can get the fake GPS Go location spoof for free, but it does come at a it does come with a, a little bit of an annoyance. It does do like it pops up a bunch of ads, and the ads are just like annoying as all mad so but i'm just saying like i'm just saying this guys if you don't if you just want to test it out this is the one to do if you want to just test out this app it'll work for you but i i don't use the free one i spent the 2.99 and i got the fake gps uh go location spoofer and i got the i got the uh, paid one it was only 2.99 I made a comment, it was not working great, or it was working great, then the new update, now it doesn't work, it's trash until fixed. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still not fixed 100% because you have to, like, uh, downgrade your services. Alright, so what you need to do, install fake GPS, go location spoofer, and I recommend the paid one. So with that, uh, you go to the next step. The next step is to go into your settings, alright? Once you got that download, go into your settings, go to your apps. All right, go to apps, go scroll down until you see Google Play, Google Play services. You got it right there, Google Play services. You want to click that. Then you want to go ahead and you should see right here, you should see at the top corner of the uh the top corner of the screen there should be three dots all right go and click those three dots all right so once you click those three dots you should see an uninstall there should say uninstall so what you need to do is click that click uninstall this is after if you got the oreo update and you want to downgrade your google play services how to spoof and such it doesn't work as far as i know that i don't think there's anything for me that works uh after android oreo version i have tried stuff but it hasn't worked but this is the only way to do it so click the three dots click uninstall and then you go back into your uh go ahead and go go to your storage and then clear cache or cash people call it cash cache but clear cash all right so after you do that then you want to go down in your settings and go find maps okay go to your maps and then you want to click storage all right then you want to click storage right here click that and then clear cache and then clear data so you want to clear data and clear cache so that way all that stuff Yes, you'll get pop-up messages like this. You can see right here, update Google Play services. It is not, it's not, uh, just ignore that. Just ignore that, okay? All right, so once you do all that, restart your phone. Once you do all that, don't open any apps. Do not open fake GPS. Do not open uh, Pokemon Go. After you uninstall uh, Google Play services and clear cache and data from your Google Maps, Okay, restart your phone. Restart your phone. Reboot it, okay? Once you get back in, then you want to go to fake GPS. Once you get in, go to your fake GPS, okay? Go to developer settings. Make sure make sure that you got your mock location highlighted here and make sure it says fake GPS. So you want to click fake GPS, okay? So once that's clicked, you're good to go. Then you want to go to your app settings. After developer settings, go to app settings. Click that. You want to make sure that no root mode is checked. Make sure no root mode is 
checked. I repeat, make sure it is checked because it is before the update. So you want to make sure you have that. All right, make sure that's checked. Scroll down. I like to hide icon. I like to hide the icon that way it doesn't show up when I'm uh, when I'm spoofing around and stuff. So I, I manage that by clicking hide icon. I get rid of that. So you want to have your update interval to 1,000. So plug in 1,000 for your update interval, okay? Then you want to go to your GPS accuracy. Keep it at a five. It recommends anything up to 50, but I've tried several different options, but you want to keep it at a five. So GPS accuracy, keep it a five. If it's not stable enough to your liking, you can go all the way up to 50, but five is fine. Use five. All right. You don't even need, you don't need to check move around fake location. So that's the only thing you need to check. Hide icon as preference, but make sure no root mode is checked. Okay. Once that is all set. Then you can back out of your GPS. You can go wherever you want. I'm going to go to like Pier 39. Let's see, Pier 39 right here. I'm going to double tap. I'm going to quick play. I'm going to back out. I'm going to go into Pokemon Go. All right. I'm going to go into my second account. All right. Let's see, which is associated with my Facebook, surprisingly and funny enough. But uh, yeah. Go into my Pokemon Go, it should load up, and we should be good to go. And we're in. We are in, guys. We are in. You can click Pokemon. You should be able to click a Pokemon. Guys, drop a like down if you guys enjoyed this video. If it's helpful, leave me a comment. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Go action.